concept of brain death is widely accepted and useful in facilitating organ transplantation but it is not accepted by all hello friends welcome to my youtube channel 5 minute pediatric today we will discuss about brain death or death by neurologic criteria defined as irreversible cessation of all function of entire brain including the brain stem this guideline is not applicable for preterm that is less than 37 week of gestation usually two physician must perform independent examination separated by a specified interval timing of first examination for term newborn and up to 30 days is 24 hour after birth or following cpr or other severe brain injuries second examination after 24 hour by the second physician now timing for examination beyond neonatal period up to 18 year old is 24 hour following cardio pulmonary resuscitation or other severe brain injuries and in this condition second examination is usually done after at least 12 hour now we have three component required for brain death the first one is irreversible coma with known cause second we have absence of brain stem reflexes third we have apnea which can be detected by apnea test before initiation of brain death assessment we must rule out potential reversible causes of coma and confounding factors must be corrected before assessment so reversible causes of coma include metabolic disorder toxin sedative drug paralytic agent hypothermia hypoxia hypohypernatremia hypotension cardiopulmonary resuscitation low or high glucose hypercalcemia sepsis meningitis subarachnoid hemorrhage etc for a state of coma patient should be unresponsible to even noxious stimulus any purposeful motor movement or decorticate or decerebrate posture is not consistent with coma now we have step 2 we do brain stem reflex test first of all we have pupillary light reflex a mid position or full dilated non reacting pupil are consistent with brain death here we assess the function of cranial nerve second and cranial nerve third now we have oculocephalic reflex or doll's eye reflex here we assess the function of cranial nerve 3 6 and 8 Ma we manually rotate the head to side and look for the eye response in which direction the eye move contraindication to oculocephalic reflex is 
cervical spine injury so if oculocephalic reflex present the direction of eye move away from the face here you can see the picture if we turn the baby head towards the right side eyes move to the left side if oculocephalic reflex absent then i move towards your in the direction of face that is eye with face now we have oculo vestibular reflex where we assess function of cranial nerve 3 4 6 and 8 we get the tympanic membrane with iced water or saline and look for eye movement absence of eye movement is consistent with brain death before doing perforation must be ruled out gag and cough reflex here we touch the posterior part of the pharynx and see the response we assess the function of 9 and 10 cranial nerve absent of both gag and cough reflex is consistent with brain death after confirmation of brain death by criteria 1 and criteria 2 we move to the third one that apnea test apnea test usually assess the respiratory drive center present in the medulla oblongata absence of respiratory efforts with pco2 more than 60 mm of hg and 20 mm of hg a baseline is consistent with brain death now we have ancillary study usually not re- required for diagnosing brain death but sometimes we fail to perform all the criteria 1 2 or apnea test so we required ancillary study ancillary study also decrease the recommended observation period two most commonly or widely used ancillary study we have eeg and radionuclide cerebral blood flow study 30 minute of electro cerebral silence in eeg perform according to guidelines supports the diagnosis of brain death absence of uptake of radionuclide pharmaceutical agent by brain demonstrate absence of blood flow and it also supports brain death so thanks for watching kindly subscribe my channel